Nets is a 12th place finish here today. Uh, just talk about your day and how it feels to be able to get a medal. Um, well, I knew that I was going to have to get out really fast the first mile. And I like to sleep during the second mile, and then I just give it my all for the last one. But one of the strategies I used was speeding up, taking three hard steps every couple trees that I had to help keep me going. Otherwise, I was going to slow down. One of those I just tried to keep up with the people that I knew I had to keep up with and park quick around turns and stuff. Was, that, was this kind of your expectation coming in today to be able to, to place? Well, honestly, I wasn't quite sure because I've been sick a lot of the season, but I'm glad that I came back and I did as well as I did. Uh, the Western Iowa Conference very well represented here today. I believe you guys had three top ten finishes. You finished 12 3 Castle Trinity good in 2A. What's it been like running against good competition like that? Uh, it's nice being able to see a lot of like the harder competition to help push us to here. But otherwise, it was also nice seeing on the cover of the little packet thing that there's a lot of selfish value girls on it, including me, but that was nice. Taylor and Courtney Spore of Logan Magnolia finished third and fourth respectively in the Class 1A state uh, cross-country meet. Just kind of talk about your guys' race and how it feels to, to place size you guys did. Um, yeah, it feels really good. I got seventh here last year, and I knew I wanted to get up higher, possibly in the top three, and that's what I did. Um, going into this race, I was ranked seventh, and, you know, I was just hoping to get, like, top five, so... You guys finished third and fourth. Uh, what was it like getting to compete against each other and being neck and neck there towards the end? It's so fun just to have someone to push me like through all the practices and stuff. And then like I don't know, we just spend we spend a lot of time together and it's really helped us bond more. Yeah, um, it's good like having someone to compete against that's like close to you, I guess. Tell me about the competition in the Western Iowa Conference. So we've seen today you guys finish third and fourth, Peyton gets second, Corey Castle had a good run. Uh, it's going to be fun running with that good a competition. Yeah, yeah, kind of. You can go. <laughs> um, okay, well, it kind of like helps me so I'm not as nervous for state because I knew Peyton was ranked number one going into this and I was ranked number two, so I knew that our competition here would be really similar to what it was at all of our meets. Yeah, I agree with that. Team-wise, we don't know anything yet, but uh, you guys came in rank number one. Look like you said, a really strong team showing. Uh, just talk about this team season. Um, you can go. <laughs> you know, it's, I'd rather be like ranked like third than being ranked one, because then you like have all that pressure on you to like be number one. Assuming you guys are crowned the, the team champions, what's, what's it mean to get that team title? It's amazing. Our team has never won state before in cross country, and I don't know, it would just be really awesome if we could pull it off. Yeah, it would be great for our school. Peyton, uh, second place on the day, just take us through your race. Well, I started off pretty fast. I think I went a little too fast, and then she caught me on the foot like the second mile. I wasn't really proud of how I finished. I was looking for state champion. Tell me about running at State again, second year in a row, and you're just a sophomore, so you're going to get a couple more shots at it. Just tell me about today. Today, I uh, thought I felt way better than last year. Like, the course felt better, because I know how it goes now. A couple were last week at the state qualifying meet. You got the best of Emma, and then she gets the win today. Just kind of talk about the battles you guys have had the last couple weeks. Well, at District Tech, that I like felt really good and was ready for State. She obviously more wanted to win State, and she did. What's it going to take for you to maybe improve by a spot next year? I'm going to practice way harder and come back. Bedford's Emma Lucas is your Class 1A state champion after a dominant performance here today. Emma, uh, just talking about it, very dominant. Uh, the six of your day. I just, I guess I had confidence in myself and I prayed a lot. And that was just really it. And I think at this point, almost anything is possible when it comes to a race like this. So. Tell me about the early part. Uh, Peyton Pogue, the Tri Center, gets out front, and then about a mile in, you begin to chip in and, and take the lead, and then open up a very comfortable lead. Yeah, I just decided to go at that point and just see what, or I could, what I could do. Finished second year last year, and this year you get the state title. Uh, what's it mean? It just, it's awesome, and I can't wait to get back and just do more work and see how much more I can improve. Last week at the state qualifying meet, you and Peyton had a good battle. She got the best of you. Did that make you maybe a little bit hungrier to come in here and get the state title? Yeah, I think so. I just had more confidence in myself, and I just prayed a lot. This is a good way to cap off your cross-country high school career? Yes, it's awesome.
Coach, uh, Logan Magnolia Girls, 1A team state champion. That sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? It does. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Just kind of take us through the day. Um, obviously, being the top-ranked team, was this kind of the expectation coming in to compete for that team title? We were hoping for that, you know, but we knew after last year, you know, we weren't even ranked going into districts and we ended up fourth. So we knew that uh, we didn't know what was always out there and we knew that we'd still have to, to you know, run our best in order to, to come out with the win. So. Taylor and Courtney Spohr finished third and fourth respectively, but uh, you guys also had a lot of other really good finishers today, and uh, you got to be proud of your team's performance today, right? Oh, so proud, yes. I mean, they, they did everything that they needed to do, and they I mean, they just pushed it hard. They did awesome. <laughs> First state title for Logan Magnolia. What's that mean for, for your team? Oh, you know, it's just overwhelming almost. You know, it, it, this year is only our third third year of actually even the girls' team making it to state, so to win it is just awesome. So. How would you sum up this season of being able to cap it off with a state title? <laughs> oh, it's been a ride. I mean, they've, like I was saying, you know, they've they've ran through injuries, sickness. Um, you know, one of them even put themselves in the hospital after a race. You know, it's just been they've pushed themselves to the limit, and it's just nice to see all that hard work pay off. So.